hello everyone uh, in this video we are going to learn about the firewall on CentOS operating system so I am just giving, giving you the real world scenario currently I have two servers uh, one is called auth1 UET server another I have uh, nginx mix UET server so basically what I want to do my nginx server will connect with this auth1 servers there is a jboss running in this uh, auth1 servers if I can show you yeah, can you see that this is the JBoss which is running on this um, auth1 UAT server so what I want to do I want to allow there is a port uh, if I can check the ports on my this auth1 server of my JBoss so you will see that let me show you the ports uh, we can use the net state command to show all the ports uh, dash ntlp so as you can see here let me make this screen a little bigger so as you can see there are a lot of ports are exposed by my jboss running on this uh, auth1 server and what i want to do i just only want to allow uh, i want to make a restriction that only these ports should be allowed on my this auth1 server and i can only do this through firewall so what i am doing uh, i have recently installed the firewall d uh, firewall service on this uh, centos operating system if i can show you this is my centos operating system i can i can show you let me show you uh, okay and static okay cat etc uh, os release Eric. Ah, yeah, yeah, you can see that. So basically, I have a CentOS operating system, uh, CentOS 7, and on this CentOS operating system, I have installed all JBoss on this servers, and currently my JBoss is exposing these ports. And what I want to achieve, I just want to expose only these ports uh, on this server so that no other port can be allowed to connect with this server. And currently, my scenario is that I have a Nginx server here. So this is my nginx server okay uh, and here I want to what I want to allow I want to allow this nginx server to connect with only these ports so no anyone else can connect without uh, any other ports because only uh, these uh, the connection will be only allowed through firewall only these ports right so these are the ports so first of all I am just going to allow this port uh, 8280 port so let me show you that I have already installed the firewall D service so I will show you how I install it you can follow this blog right so enable firewall and disable firewall on CentOS so you can follow this I will paste this in the description so I you can just install install the firewall through this command right I have already installed so you don't have to worry about that and then you can enable it so that on your restart of your server uh, the firewall will be automatically enabled so this is the command so right now I just what I want to do is I just want to add my ports in this auth1 uh, firewall so that I can uh, I can connect with it so before going that let me show you that currently these ports are exposed so let me telnet this port from my nginx server right so here is my telnet command so this is the ip which is for my this auth1 ip okay uh, and uh, i want to telnet to this auth1 server through my nginx server so let me telnet it and you can see it is showing me that telnet connect to address no route to host because if i show you the status of my firewall let me show you uh, sudo system let me clear the screen so you can see the command sudo system ctl status firewall d uh, okay see i am just giving the password oh, so you can see that so currently on this my auth1 servers my firewall is currently running and if i check uh, the ports which are currently exposed on my this auth1 servers so the command is this uh, let me show you the list point this, this is the command uh, sudo firewall cmd so firewall cmd is actually the interface through which you can allow add ports and stuff like that so this is just an interface for firewall utility right so this is the command sudo firewall cmd list all it will list all the ports which are currently exposed so if i hit this command so as you can see here currently no port is exposed 
uh, no port is uh, added to my firewall that's why I cannot connect on this server uh, to this server through my nginx server on this port right so first of all what I am going to do I am going to add my this port in the firewall so that I can it, so that it will be allowed and I can connect to it through my nginx server so the, to add the command I am going to use this add uh, add port command and the command is this sudo firewall cmd add port and here I am defining the port 8280 actually ok uh, let me check the port yeah this one this is this is the port which I am going to add in my firewall and uh, forward slash tcp and flood permanent flag so that it can be added permanently let me hit this and after as you can see the status is success it means my this 8280 firewall is added to my firewall but if I can if I check the status list all the ports you will see there is no port added right because I have not reloaded my firewall yet so first of all I need to reload it so that uh, it can be uh, visible that it is added permanently because I need to restart my firewall uh, service so that's why it is required so let me type the firewall uh, reload command and this is the reload command sudo firewall cmd and dash dash reload this will reload the firewall uh, ok let me enter this and now let's again check the ports now you will see that the port is added can you see that so this is how we can add uh, any port in our server in the firewall so that it can allow this port to connect with from other operating systems so this is my nginx server so let me again telnet to it so we will see that now we are able to connect to it can you see that right so this scare character is this sign shows that uh, we are successfully connected to uh, on this port right so this is how uh, we know that um, our port is added in the firewall and this is how we can uh, enable or disable the ports right so as you can see that now I am able to connect with this uh, firewall utility through nginx so this is very simple similarly I can add any other port in my auth1 server and uh, only this these ports will be allowed no any other port can be connected to this our auth1 server or uh, through any other servers now only this port is allowed 8280 to connect with this server so this is how we can uh, add our ports in the firewall uh, to restrict uh, and to protect our server to make a better security thank you very much